Amazon uh, is gaining advertising share quickly, and additional momentum is likely to come from its streaming platform, Twitch. Twitch is leveraging the viral growth of games like Fortnite uh, that garner nearly 30 million hours of viewing uh, per week. And Kevin Lynn joins us now uh, from the Collision Conference in New Orleans. He's the co-founder of Twitch, uh, the leading live platform, which was acquired by Amazon in 2014. Now, do people now say, okay, I, I believe you, people are going to watch a spectator sport of, of video games. You don't need to convince, with me, you still kind of need to convince me a little bit, but um, what, you've got some real personalities that as they're playing, they do, uh, they do imitations and they're really good at, at what they do. Is, is that the hook, Kevin? That's a big part of it. Uh, as it turns out, people just like watching other people play that have uh, varying le levels of skill or just a strong personality that, that, that might appeal to you. Uh, it's not really unlike watching someone play, play basketball or, or other ball sports. Um, it's really about connecting with the streamer, uh, depending on what they love. In our case, much of that is around uh, video games. My, my, I guess I can identify with it and, and I'm gonna date myself. You may not even know what I'm talking about, but I used to be able to play Asteroids where I could play for as long as I wanted. <laughs> you could go through to the end and then start again and keep, and there would be, or Missile Command, I, could, I was pretty good at too. And, and people would start gathering around and watching. And, and you sort of feel like Tommy the Pinball Wizard. Um, I, and I guess that, that's how I can identify that this actually works. How do you get good at Fortnite? How do you get good at Fortnite? Well, you got to practice a lot, just like any other game. I mean, Asteroids, Missile Command, it takes a lot of practice. You can always get back into that game, Joe, if you ever want to. Uh, but no, it, it takes a lot of dedication to, to, uh, to playing games at a high skill level. Uh, so Fortnite, a lot of folks uh, watch other people play, uh, whether that's on Twitch or, or on uh, more lesson-driven VOD on-demand videos. Uh, but it really just takes a lot of time to play. For professional gamers that are competing on a global scale uh, with players from around the world, uh, you're really dedicating a lot of time to mastery, uh, to practice with a team, um, and it just takes a lot of dedication. Kevin, what does this look like a couple years out? Do you become the ESPN of esports and, and all of this? And, and then is there a whole rights, um, rights sale that's going to take place when all this is said and done? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think it's it, esports in general is continuing to grow. Uh, it's a big part of what we do at Twitch, um, and a big part of the ecosystem that we support really starts from the ground up, from the players, uh, the coaches, the commentators that can build uh, a career, really just streaming on Twitch, and thus practice uh, as much as they possibly can. Can, and can then, you just and walk, every, walk everybody scene. through the economic model? Because I'm not sure people completely understand Yeah, it. sure. All right, so uh, uh, basically people stream for free on Twitch. Uh, right. It's free to watch, it's free to use as a broadcaster. We have almost 2 million people that, that broadcast every month. Uh, about 27,000 of those are fully partnered, another 200,000 are affiliates that are semi-partnered, and they make money from advertising, from subscriptions. Now remember, people pay $5 a month uh, either directly or through Twitch Prime, but the content's free, so they're really paying to support the streamer. They're, they're, that's their entertainer of choice. They want them to be able to build a career and entertain them for as long as possible. Uh, they make money from what we call bits, which is a virtual good. They make money from merchandise. They get endorsements and sponsorships. Uh, but the bulk of the revenue really comes from advertising and subscriptions for now. But we're always adding more revenue streams for them uh, so that they have choice. They can design shows however they want. They want to run ads, great. They don't want to run ads. They can do subscriptions. They can do both. Uh, but we really want to give folks uh, a, a wide selection there. And do you, uh, but it's all about growing audience. It's all about appealing. Yeah. Do you run this business relatively autonomously in, and independently inside of Amazon? What's, what's that experience like? Yeah, we do. I mean, we're, we're a very different kind of company. Um, uh, we reach a very young audience, 26, uh, average age 26. They watch for about two and a half hours a day. Um, and we work with other Amazon teams. We work very closely with the Amazon Prime team. We're increasingly working with the Prime Video team. Um, and a lot of, in the background, we work, we're part of AWS. We work with a lot of the AWS teams in terms of uh, just making the site stand up. Uh, and, and sort of expanding and, and uh, evolving the technology behind what we do. Uh, but we, we, we operate pretty autonomously, yeah. Is Jeff a gamer? Bezos? Is Jeff a gamer? I, uh, is, is Bezos a gamer? I think he's, he, he's, I guess if you count flying spaceships in the, sa in, uh, in the space, maybe that's a game. But no, I think he plays games here and there. He's certainly very curious about what we do. Uh, so he's always kind of asking us uh, 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 about interesting things that are happening and, and tossing over ideas as well. Do is there a complete overlap in people who watch other people play? They play themselves. I guess if you watch someone who's really good at Fortnite, 
you'd learn some tricks for yourself on how to get further along or, or, or strategies and things like that. That's all part of it, I guess. It is part of it. I mean, a lot of people watch other, other folks play to get a sense of what strategies they're deploying, um, how they're playing the game, how they practice. Uh, so there, there's a lot of learning you can get from watching other people play, and but really the too, best part of it is really you know playing yourself. Yeah. And you, yeah. you televise poker tournaments too, right? And that that's you, I definitely need to learn something. What'd there. you say? Sorry, focus. Po poker as well, right? Oh yeah, we do poker. We're we're testing a bunch of stuff these days. We've got uh, NBA G League that's been streaming. Uh, we've got NFL streams that in, in, in partnership with Prime Video. We've been testing right, some I TV want channels. In. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.